today I'm going to be doing my favorite fall things. This is a tag and I was tagged by Makeup by Tia or TIA. Um, I love her. She's super classy. She, her editing is amazing. If you haven't watched her channel, I'm going to link it down below for you guys. And I was also ta tagged by Little Lady Lori. You guys already know her. I've done a um, collab with her before. Really beautiful. Does great um, hauls, tutorials. I um, love her as well, so I'll link her down below. And I'm wearing one of the items in my fall tag fashion, so I'm really comfy and cozy with more done makeup because I'm actually going to go out after this and change my outfit, but I wanted to wear everything that I'm going to talk about today. So let's get right into the makeup thing. So the first thing is a face product, and my favorite new thing to use lately has been my Anastasia Contour Kit. Um, I know this has been talked about a lot on YouTube, but I just recently started really loving it and using it a ton. Um, I used these two bronzers here for my contour today. I also used this beautiful highlight here. It's very subtle shimmer in it, and it really gives a beautiful sheen. So I'm loving that. And then I used a combination of the yellow powder and the more pink powder to set under my eye and anywhere I highlighted. I think these powders are absolutely beautiful and they really give some great dimension to the skin. And if you can still get your hands on this, I know my Sephora doesn't carry it anymore, but it might be on Anastasia's website. I know they're doing where you can choose your own colors, like make your own palette. So if that's available, I'll try and link it down below, but I absolutely love this. If you have it, pull it out. It's wonderful. The next is a cheek product. So I didn't want to repeat myself for my September favorites, even though all of those products I've still been using a ton, so I'll link that video down below if you haven't watched it. But these two blushes I recently have been really loving for fall. I just think they have that great fall tone to them. This, the first one is NARS Unlawful. I've been loving this. It's just a really gorgeous, has some peach in it, has some neutral like brown in it, has a little bit of shimmer so it still gives a gorgeous glow to your skin. I do have it on today. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me do a little bit of a swatch. I mean, I've swatched this before because I had it in a haul. I had it in my blush favorites recently. It's just absolutely stunning. The next blush I want to share is one that's also in the Hourglass new ambient blush palette for holiday. Um, but I've been using the one that's just a single pan. This is the Mood Exposure Hourglass Ambient Powder Blush. Um, absolutely beautiful mauve tone and because it has the ambient powder swirled with it, it gives that really soft touch to the skin, almost like a soft focus airbrush. Oh, I almost dropped my blush. And it just has that great mauve tone to it. Look at that. Without being overdone, so I really love it. The that. next is eye products and I've still really been loving my ColourPop shadows, but I wanted to speak to two specific colors that I think are so beautiful for fall. And I'm probably going to be doing a tutorial similar to the one that's on my eye right now. It's very simple to do for fall, and I think it's so beautiful. This is Sequin from ColourPop, and it's almost like a rose gold, but has more of a burnt orange undertone to it. So that's why I think it's so beautiful for fall. These are so pigmented and creamy. Oh, my Lord. And that's what I have all over my lid today. Just look at that. Oh, my goodness. Stunning. These are $5 a piece on their website. You can't beat that. The other color I've really been loving is um, Cricut. And this is a really beautiful dimensional purple, but almost burgundy, um, which is very in for fall. Um, so let me show you that. This is a really beautiful, plummy, deep burgundy purple. Both of these do have some shimmer to them, so I like putting them all over my lid. And then I've also been getting a lot of use out of my MAC shadows, specifically Soft Brown, which I do have in my crease today. Let me try and pick this up without hurting it. It's just a gorgeous blending shade, but has such great warmth to it, so it really gives some great dimension without being overkill when I don't want to have a strong, dark look. But if I do want to kind of deepen up my outer V, I've really been loving Embark from MAC, which is a brown, but it has some nice kind of burgundy deep undertone. Let me do some swatches of these two. They're very creamy, very blendable. I mean, MAC usually is. And these are both pretty strong swatches, but here's Soft Brown and Embark. And this would not be a favorite unless I did an exorbitant amount of lip products. <laughs> the next is lip products. 
And again, I didn't want to repeat myself, but I just have to say I still am absolutely loving the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks, especially Touch of Spice, but also I found Less for Blush at my Target the other day, and I'm so excited because I absolutely love it. I'm going to swatch this one first. It's more of like a mauve rosy tone. Um, super, super pretty. I've been loving a little bit of a deeper pink if I use a pink. So love that. They're so creamy and matte. I love them. And then this is Touch of Spice, which is that deeper spicy lip. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't get enough of those two. And I have two more favorites to mention. I'm going to mention this one first because it's on my lips. This is the NYX Matte soft matte lip cream in cans and I have had this for a while but haven't really been using it and I realized that it's that perfect mauve 90s lip so that's what I have on right now I love these they stay really well they're matte but they're not super drying when I rub my lips together it's so soft and cushiony and the pigment is like absolutely insane on these absolutely insane like look at that it's sort of similar to touch of spice now that I'm swatching them touch of spice definitely darker but if you're looking for a really inexpensive alternative to that 90s lip, this is it. And then I've also been loving wearing a darker berry lip. There's a lot of MAC lipsticks I could share, but this one was my most recent favorite. It's from the little mini set for Holiday from Too Faced, and it's the Melted Lip in Melted Berry. Again, a lot of pigment, lasts really well, and initially it has some glossy tone to it, but it does become more matte over time. It definitely needs a lip liner though because it will bleed on you, at least it has for me. So definitely use a lip liner with it, but I love it. Next is hair products that I'm loving for fall. So I have to give another shout out to my Agave Restorative Hydrating Mask. It's just really, really doing wonders for conditioning my hair and really giving it a silky texture. It just feels so soft every time I use this and it smells amazing. So I absolutely, absolutely love this and I had to give it another shout out. But another product that I've been loving for my hair is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat Protector Primer. This you can only use with damp hair, so I use this when I blow dry my hair and I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. This is a small size, by the way. Um, oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. Um, a little bit sweet, but not overkill. I love this line of products. It really gives my hair a nice um, silkiness to it as well. It conditions a little bit while protecting the hair. Love it. For fragrance, I've really been reaching for my Bath & Body Works Forever Red. This is just a small size of it. Oh, it smells so good. Look, I didn't spray myself yet today. I'll try and put the notes here. It's sweet, but warm. Um, so it's not like super overly powering girly sweet. It still has a little bit of deepness to it. I absolutely love it and it lasts pretty well on me. I also love my Prada Candy, which I mentioned in my September favorites and I've been wearing that a ton as well. Next is nail polish. So I picked two. I love having darker nails in the fall. Um, I just get sick of wearing the bright colors and want to go right into dark nails. So the first one I want to mention is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure and this is in the color pat on the black. It's not black though. It is more of like a deep, deep burgundy color. And these are awesome. The Salon Care line. They are like an all-in-one. You don't have to use a base or top coat. I sometimes still use a base coat just so it won't um, stain my nails. But these last really well and they go on amazingly streak-free. Really, really love them, for, especially for the inexpensive price. Another one I really love though is Wrapped in Rubies from Essie. This again is kind of like a burgundy but lighter burgundy and has gold sheen glimmers to it. It's not shimmer, it's just like a sheen. It's absolutely gorgeous, except Essie polish doesn't last very long on me, so I need to always make sure to use a really good base and top coat with this, um, but I really love the shape. Okay, now getting into fashion. The first is a trendy clothing item. Now, I haven't really gone shopping for fall yet, but this was something that I absolutely love from last year that is sort of trendy because it kind of goes with that grunge moto style a little bit. This is like a trench coat, but it's very thin material, so I can wear it here in Arizona in the fall because it doesn't get that cold yet. And this is what it looks like. I got it at a boutique here in Arizona, so I'm sorry I won't be able to link it anyway. I got it last year, so you probably wouldn't be able to find it anyways. But I love the stud details. Now, these are plastic studs, so they won't hurt you. 
but they're all down each shoulder and, and it also has these buckle details here. But it's like I said, it's just really nice and thin so I can wear it in fall and feel all fashionable. And the opposite of fashionable is my favorite comfy clothing item and that would be my Victoria's Secret sweatshirts which I have one on right now. Let me get up so you can see. See I got my comfy sweatshirt on. And yeah, I just live in yoga pants and sweaters like this. <laughs> Let's be real, Melissa doesn't get trendy that often. <laughs> so, um, next item is shoes. Um, boots, hello, boots, boots, and more boots. But the, my favorite boots from, I, like I said, I haven't shopped yet for boots this year, but I got these last year at Target and I absolutely love them. I wore them to death a lot to work even at Sephora. Um, they have these two buckle clasps on the side here, a zipper down the back. They're just super cute, I love them. And they were inexpensive because they're from Target. And then to kind of make it a little bit snazzier or if I was going out at night and I wanted to wear a boot, I love these little heel booties. They're more of like a suede and they have like a scrunched up detail here Then and also a little buckle, I hope you can see that. I also got these at a boutique here in Arizona but I've seen very similar styles at Kohl's, Target, um, Nordstrom. They're really comfortable too, I love these. It's by the brand Glaze. This is accessories. I am very simple with my accessories. I wear a lot of studs. I wear my little pearl cat um, studs from Target and I wear a lot of rings. I'm wearing my rose gold set of bow rings from Henry Bendel today. Love these. But I've also been loving headbands lately and I got this one at Francesca's. I showed it recently in my haul. It's really comfortable and I think it just makes your look look a little bit more put together when you have like a snazzy headband on like this. I've been wearing them to work and I just think they're really cute with your hair up or down. So that is probably my favorite accessory for the fall currently. Okay, now into the fun favorites. The first is Halloween or Thanksgiving. I love Halloween. I have to give it to Halloween. I love getting dressed up. I love giving candy out to the kids and seeing them all dressed up. I love scary movies and watching that with my mom um, because she's a scary movie fanatic. Um, our tradition usually if I'm not going anywhere for like on Halloween day is to watch a marathon of scary movies and hand out candy with my mom. So I look forward to that every year. And I just think it's so much fun, don't you guys? I don't know. Thanksgiving is wonderful um, to see your family and get together and everything, but it's just about, it's just food. I'm not that thrilled with Thanksgiving. <laughs> I mean, you want to be thankful, I know, but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Um, number two, favorite festive food and or drink. For real, we all know it's my pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. Actually, my favorite favorite right now is chai latte with two pumps of pumpkin. Um, iced chai latte with pumpkin. So if you haven't tried it yet, I know some of you have been tweeting me and Instagramming me that you tried it because I talked about that on my vlog. So if you guys try it, let me know. It's so, so good. If you like pumpkin and chai lattes, you will. Last question is, what's the happiest part about fall for you? Oh my god, there's so many things. I love that the air gets like the air gets kind of crisp and cooler. Well, here in Arizona, it doesn't start to really feel like fall till late October, but the weather when it changes and gets cooler completely changes my mood. It makes me so happy and that little difference in the weather makes my day, honestly. Um, I love every all the pumpkin stuff that comes out because I'm a pumpkin fiend, I'm a fanatic for my pumpkin stuff, my pumpkin candles and my lattes and pumpkin loaf, anything pumpkin I'm like super obsessed with. I love being able to wear cozy clothes and cuddle up with hot cocoa and just all the fun activities that come along with fall like pumpkin picking, corn mazes, apple picking, and just being with your family. So that is all for my favorite fall picks. Thank you so much to the two girls that tagged me. I'm going to list some people down below that hopefully haven't done this yet. I'm not really sure. I might be a little late to the game, but I will list them down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.